Hey there, I'm Koi, and this is going to be a guide for the archery game in A Link to the Past. Uh, so in the new inverted mode for uh, A Link to the Past Randomizer, um, you start in the dark world, right? And that means that you kind of want to have 80 rupees for the game over here. You kind of want to have 30 rupees for the chess game over here, and another 110 if you get lucky enough to go to pod early, right? That's a lot of rupees, and with so few item locations in Sphere 1, it's unlikely you're going to just find enough rupees. But with the archery game, that's this house right here, which is uh, south of Village of Outcast. You can tell because it has an arrow. There's, a, there's an arrow. See the arrow? Arrow on the top. <laughs> you can turn 20 rupees into 9,000 rupees, uh, given enough time. But 20 rupees, you can get 104 rupee profit very, very, very consistently uh, right here, and I will show you how to do that. Okay, so starting with, uh, we want to pay attention to these curtains on the back wall. So the second curtain from the right, that's the one uh, lined up with me like right now, that is the magic curtain, okay? So what you want to do is you come over here and you stand right next to this guy, like right here, see? Right here. We're going to start the game. And what you want to do is when the little white guys, which you're aiming for, uh, reach this middle of that second curtain, that is when you fire, like now. And now. 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 And now. So 20 rupees, you get 104 rupee profit uh, for doing it like this. And it's very quick. And with that 104 rupees, you can go do digging game where you'll probably find more rupees. Like typically you only need to do this uh, one time. But if you have like a bad digging game, uh, you can do this uh, two or more times as well. Uh, the RNG is non-existent. There is no RNG with the patterns here. They're always the same. And uh, after enough time, eventually the hands will start blocking those shots from that position. So uh, my recommendation is after two games uh, to reset the room, which will reset their patterns. But you can see, I think you can do like three games if you go as fast as possible. Let's see. Boop. 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 And boop. Alright, that's one game. And of course, if you make a mistake, uh, it'll, I think it's only three hits to remake the money that you spent. So it's not that big a deal if you don't do it perfectly the first time. As long as you don't do really horribly <laughs> and spend like your last rupee, everything's gonna be just fine. Okay, and I think following this one, this is when the pattern gets really bad. And this is why. Oh, not yet. There you go. Finally. So, yeah, on the uh, fourth game is when the pattern started lining up and the hand started blocking me. Uh, so my recommendation is after every two games to reset, if you're gonna do it that many times, but like I said before, you probably don't need to do it this more than once or twice in an inverted seed. Uh, well, I hope that helped you and make inverted just a little bit nicer. Uh, you know, this isn't really gonna help you not do three heart fighter sword mothula or three heart hammer blind or go into Ice Palace at all, but it will help you get to those money-locked locations a little more consistently. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day!